our struggles, he will hear our faintest cry. But till then, some by and by, now when you're feeling prayerful, then there's your heart to the heavenly and you will find out find that Jesus makes it right. You make it right. Amen. 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 I'm coming up, Lord. I'm coming up soon. I'm coming up, my Lord. And my day is soon. That is soon. And my day is soon, and soon, and soon. Better read your Bible and do what God says, and do what God says. Better read your Bible oh, each and every day, and a day, and a day, each and every day, and a day, and a day. There's one for the Father, there's one for the Son, there's one for the Son, and there's one for the Holy Ghost, and they all make a one, the one, and a one, and they all make one, and a one, and a one. I'm coming up, Lord. I'm coming up, Lord. I'm coming up soon. I'm coming up soon. I'm coming up, my Lord. And my day is soon. And my day is soon. Morning, and soon. And my day is soon. And soon. Amen. Amen. Our Father, which you are in heaven, we come now begging you that you would have mercy on heaven's sent word to earth. Amen. We pray for this earthen vessel who would speak your word. Well. We pray that you would bless him to speak without addition and subtraction. He had this veterans retreat center. Mm -hmm. And Lord, Lord, we've been walking with you a long time, and we all are veterans of life in here. Yes, and we pray that, Lord, as we deal with ups and downs and difficulties, yeah. that you would bless us to keep our eyes on the prize. Yeah. We pray now that you'll sit me down well. and you'll stand up. We pray that when the final amen has been given, somebody in this audience would say, you know, it was good for me to be here in the house of the Lord on July the 8th, 2018. Amen. Go with us, Jesus' name, we humbly pray, amen. 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 Let me see your Bibles, where the Bible's at. Come on. Let's give God our best, where are the Bibles? If you got your piece of paper, that's your Bible because you got the Bible on it. Hold your Bible up in the air. Come on. Just like you just don't care. Come on. Hold those Bibles up in the air. Just like you just don't care. Thy word, Thy word. have a hit in my heart. So that I may not sin against thee. So that I may not sin against thee. Thy word, Thy word. is a lamp to my feet. And a light to my path. And a light to my path. One question before you raise your hands down. Is Houston dark? Yes, sir. Well, they going to need this light. Amen? Amen? Let's give you two some light, Brother Solomon. Amen. Amen. Amen? Is that all right, cuz? Yes, We're going to give them some light. Amen? Amen. Amen? The light is coming from 1 Kings, Amen. the 18th chapter. Amen? 1 Kings, the 18th chapter. When James Henry has eloquently read it, I'm going to use the sheep, sheep. Amen. The Bible says, now, your, your, your bulletin has two sides to it, sermon side and the worship side. I'm on the sermon side, I'm just reading the script, which is the text. The Bible says, hear me, O Lord, hear me. 
that this people may know that thou art the Lord God and that thou hast turned their heart back to you again. Verse 38, 1 Kings 18, 38. Because I want you to take this home and share it with you. All right, come on. That's fine. Get water. Amen. Oh, get program. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now you ain't done that. You just participate. That's what we want. <laughs> we ain't looking for no what? Spectator. Spectator. We want what? He said, I need a proof. Amen. Amen. Now, 38 says what? Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood Amen. and the stone. I'm going to get right in front of this camera here. That's why I moved. I ain't trying to hide from you. I want to be directly in front of it. Amen. Wow. So when I face these people in the day of judgment, they can say, yeah, that was that bald head preacher. <laughs> and the Bible said, and consume the burnt sacrifice, the wood, the stone, the dust, and lick up the water that was in the trench. If you don't mind, I want to briefly talk on the subject called, are you ready? How to get what you want. That's subject I'm talking about. I'm getting a little feedback. Let me turn it down there. How that sound? Yeah. How to get what you want. Now, as we lift up this passage, we're going to be lifting up prayer, something that is very needed in our lives. Amen. You know, in life, we do a lot of words. Amen. Well, we do a lot of work. And what we need to do with these words? Give your worries to the Lord. He will care for you. He will never let those who are good be defeated. He will never let those could be defeated. So what you gonna do? Give your worries to the Lord. Bum, 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 and he will care for you. He will never let those who are good be defeated. Never let those who are good be defeated. So that's what we're going to do in the message. You came here so you can give your worries to the Lord. To the Lord. Amen. Wall. Amen. Talking on. Amen. Ain't going to be long, but I'm going to be strong. I'm talking on what? How to get what you, want. what you want. Now, the reason of the song was just to show you the reason you ain't getting what you want is because you're just doing too much worries. Amen. Wall. God says, I want you, you, you to look at the birds and look at the lilies, the flowers. They don't worry. They don't cry. Yet your heavenly father take care of the flying birds. Yes, God, take care of that beautiful flower. Amen. Well, whatever you want pertaining to life and godliness. We find it where? In the word of God. And what do we find in the word of God? We find resources of God. God says, I ain't going to leave you alone. I'm going to give you prayer. Amen. Whoa. Oh, yes. How to get what you want. See, I already know everybody in here, you got a want list. Everybody got a want list. Amen. Whoa. What, what is your want? Somebody said, well, Lord, I want to feel better physical. I'm, I'm tired of this ball. I'm, I, 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 I'm tired of my aching leg. Amen. Walls. Uh, Lord, I, I heal my body. That may be on your want list. Somebody else said, well, Lord, you know, I need a house. I, I need somewhere to live. I need somewhere to lay my head. Amen. Wow. Amen. You, 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 you're not walking with me. Maybe that's on your want list. Somebody, maybe you want to be socially 
accepted. You don't have a lot of friends. You don't have a girlfriend. You don't have a boyfriend. Amen. Well, but, but you got a friend in Jesus. Amen. Well, I wish there was a saint in the sanctuary. I wish on this side I could just get one amen. Amen. Well, I wish on this side I can just get one amen in the house. Amen. Well, did you come to party? Amen. Well, if you came to party, get your bags off the wall, amen, wall. I would have you to know when praises come up, go up, your blessings come all the way down, amen, wall. We're going to talk about some blessings that's going to come down. What's on your want list? Maybe on your want list because you've been filling your back pocket and your front pocket, maybe, maybe on your want list you want uh, some money in your pockets, amen, wall. You want your pockets to turn to mumps, amen, wall. You want them to blow up, amen, wall. You want them to get bigger and better, amen, wall. To get you out of your blue state, amen, wall. Oh, yes, but what's on your want list? And somebody say, I don't want none of that. You know what I really want? I want to be delivered from sin. Amen. I want to be delivered from jealousy and gossip, amen, Wall. Yes, sir. I want to be delivered from porn, amen, Wall. I want to be delivered from this world. What's on your want list? Whatever's on your want list, I'm going to tell you this. You came to the right place. Yes, amen. Because I read in John 14, 6, is there anybody that been in the Bible country? What did he say? He said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. No man come to the Father except they go by the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Oprah Winfrey, you can say what you want. I got you on YouTube. I'll debate you. Oprah Winfrey talking about Jesus ain't the only way. He is the only way. Ain't no other way. Jesus Christ is the only way. Can I get an amen in here? Whatever you want Amen. today, God want to teach you. And he want to take his time and train you to get what you want. Amen. So today we're going to lift up the MOG. Yes, we're going to lift up the MOG that he read about. Come on, MOG. Amen. The man of God. Amen. Oh, yes, God need a man of God that would stand in the gap. Amen. Wall. Because on one side, you got righteousness. On the other side, you got wickedness. One side, you got the goats. Other side, you got what? You got what? You got the lambs. Amen. Whoa. Goats on one side. Sheep. Lambs on the other side. I need a man of God that would stand in the gap as you live in Houston, Texas. Amen. As you live in Dallas, Texas. Amen. Yes. Wow. As you live in Cashman Garden, Texas. Yes. As you live in Acres Home, Texas. Amen. Wow. I need a man of God that would stand in the gap. And that's why he read that text because God is going to lift up the man of God named Elijah. What are you going to do, Elijah? I'm going to I'm going to stand, amen, wall. I ain't going to be the tail. I'm going to be the head. I ain't going to run backwards. I'm going to run forward, amen, wall. I wish that somebody would just say amen, amen. to the Lord this morning, amen, wall. Today we lift up the man to God, this prophet of God, the prophet. He has his wants. I said I'm talking on something, how to get what you want, but do you got to understand, are you listening, you too, that the man of God has wants, amen, well, I'm going to take the ass off, he just got a wound, amen, well, and then I, I got to talking to him, I said, Elijah, uh, you a man of God, what do you want, Elijah, Elijah, Looked me straight in the eyes and he said, I want F I R E. He said, I want some fire. And that's what he said in 38. He said, I want some fire. What do you want with fire? I want fire to fall out of heaven. I want fire to fall upon 450 false prophets of hell. Amen. Well, that's what I want. See, I talked to the text. Wow. And I was talking to Elijah when I was working on this. I started talking to him. Amen. I said, Elijah, let me understand this right. 
You, you, you did, you, did I hear you right? You said you want some literal fire to fall down on men, but not just any men, some false men. Some misleading men. And I tell you, we need to get in the word of God because if you don't know the word of God, you'll follow anybody. Do you hear me? You'll follow anybody. There was a man going through the graveyard. And he saw an appetite one day. He says, as you stand here and as you read this, you too is going this way. And the man took out his pimps and rope beneath the appetite. He said to follow you. I'm not content till I know which way you went. What are you teaching now? We need to investigate before we invest, say man, wow. Yes, never sign some papers and you don't know what you signing. Can I get an amen in here? Amen. This is practical amen. theology class 101. Let the church say amen. amen. Oh yes, we're talking on how to get what you want. He said, see first of all, you got to know what you want. Elijah wanted some fire. Fire is what? The art of the deal. Amen. Well, let me say that again. Fire is the A-R-T. The art of the deal, amen, wall. Yeah. So let's make this deal on a hill called Mount Carmel. You're making all kind of deals on Capitol Hill. We would, The deal was made at Cabra Hill, but on this hill, we're going to make a deal, the art of the deal. So Elijah, he loved to ask questions. He looked at all of those 450 prophets. And he began to ask a detonating question that knocked them off their feet. He said, how long how she between two opinions? If God be God, then you serve God. But if Baal be God, then on 2018, July the 8th, you going to follow and serve Baal. He said, let's make a deal. Amen, Walt. Now, the deal is this. The deal is this. The God that answers by fire, he's the real deal. He's the God that we should follow. And that's why I'm talking on the subject called how to get what you want. Elijah is way ahead of a lot of you. You want this, that, and other. You want about 500 things for God. But he says, I just want one thing. I know what I want. Amen. Well, man, you ought to know what you want in your woman. You ought to say, I love this woman. I want to hug this woman. I want to kiss this woman. And I'm going to wait on this woman because she's precious to me. What do you want? Do you want a job? Do you want money? Do you want to build up this veteran retreat? What do you want from God? He's standing there. Come unto me all you that live in the heaven. I'll give you rest. What do you want? Elijah said, I didn't stutter. He said, I want some fire. Amen. Fire is my desire. Amen. Well, I want fire to fall down. Amen. Well, see, it's not just a matter knowing what you want. He know what he want. He want the fight. Amen. But also, you must not only know your want, you must know your W-H-E-R-E. -E. Where am I going to get my want fulfilled at? And Elijah said, I found a hiding place. I know exactly where to go and get whatever I want from God. Elijah, if you don't mind telling us, uh, where, where you going to go and get this fire at? And then I saw Elijah going down. Uh -huh. And he went a little down. Yeah. He went on down a little fuck. He went on down a little fuck. And so all of a sudden, he got on his knees. He said, I'm going to teach you how to bring fire all the way down 
from heaven's sky and he got on his knees and began praying to the Lord God of heaven. He says, God, I want you to bring the fire down, but here's my reason why. So that the false prophets may know I am your M.O.G. That I am your man. That you sent me to do battle with Jezebel. Amen. You sent me to do battle with Ahab. You sent me to do battle with the 450 prophets. Elijah got something going that you ain't got going. Elijah got faith. Do you not know that before you can get the fire to fall, faith must proceed? Yes, amen. Amen. Elijah, don't be scared. Amen. Walk. Go on, face Je uh, Jezebel. Don't be scared. Go on, face Ahab. Amen. Wall. Don't run. Amen. Wall. From, but you run to. Amen. A lot of time when we got problems in life, we began running from the problem. Amen. Wall. God says, Elijah, I want you to run to the problem. The problem, I'm looking at it, 450 prophets. And I'm looking at the problem. What is the problem? You got the wrong king, amen, wall. You got the wrong queen, amen, wall. You got the wrong president, amen, wall. You got the wrong congress, amen, wall. You got the wrong senate, amen, wall. You don't hear me this morning. Nailed down and he prayed. How many words did he pray? He prayed just six little bitty words. He says, First King 18 37. Let's get this 26 word praying. What did he say? Hear me. Oh Lord. Hear me. Hear me? Why? That this people may know that thou art the Lord God. Now God is, is, is 17 words. Alright? Come on. Let's pick up word number 18. And, and, and that they that had burned their hearts back, 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 back again. Amen. Why do the preacher preach? Because somebody in the left God and you need to come back to God. If my people would you call by my name with humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from that wicked way, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Let's make a deal. The best deal in town is Amen. if you pray, I'll forgive. Amen. If you seek me, you'll find me. If you knock on my door, amen, while uh, I'll open up. Come on, let's make a deal. If you pray, I'll forgive your sins right away this day, amen, while. Amen. How to get what you want? Elijah prayed to get what he wanted. And when he prayed those 26 words, that's all. He prayed 26 words. In his prayer, you got to let God know that you believe in God. In prayer, you got to let God know that I believe in your power. You got to let God know that I know that ain't nothing impossible with the Lord thy God. You got to let God know that God, I know you got all power both in heaven and earth. You got to let God know that I'm your servant and I'm doing what you told me to do. And when he got through with his prayer, the Bible says, what? In verse 38, come on, what did it say? Then the fire of the Lord. The Bible says, then the fire of the Lord. Fire of the Lord. Not man's fire. Not money fire. But the fire of the Lord. We better get hold to the right fire. Amen. Because in Leviticus 10, Nadab and Bahu, they offered some strange fire to God. Amen. Wow. And they became smoking memorials. Amen. Wow. You cannot offer to God the fire that you want. He said it was strange fire. We need the fire of God. Amen. Wow. And the Bible says when he prayed his 26 word prayer, then immediately, not three days later, not three months later, not three years later, the Bible said fire did what? Back. 
fell. It fell. Amen. Wall. Where did it fall at? It fell in the trench. Amen. Wall. What we got in the trench? We got water in, in the trench. It licked all the water. What we got in the trench? We got dust in the trench. It licked it all up. We got wood in the trench. Amen. Wall. It licked all the wood up. Amen. Wall. You don't hear me? There's a fire that will burn water up. Amen. Wall. God destroyed this world with water. But the next time, it's going to be fire. Amen. Wall. Ask Sodom and Gomorrah about the fires of hell. Amen. Wall. The Bible says God rained down fire and brimstone. And I'm going to drop this in for station identification. We do a whole lot of things we don't ask God for repentance of. And I just drop by to tell you, you getting by, but you ain't going to get away. Amen. Wall. How do you get what you want? Amen. Wall. Well, what is it you want? He said, I want some fire. Amen. Wall. Fire. You remember the whole Ohio player said, Fire. Amen. Wall. Fire will take you higher. Amen. Wall. Fire is my desire. I want to be on fire for God. I want the singing to be on fire for God. I want the prayers to be on fire for God. I want the Lord's Supper to be on fire for God. And I want your giving to be on fire for the Lord. Amen. Wall. Don't be like the man says. Uh, Hold it, I got $20 in my wallet. Uh, and he went through this area and that area. He said, but I'm still trying to find it. Amen, Wall. Don't do God like that this morning. He's a good God. Amen, Wall. Now, as we come to close, I just uh, bring you to this. Amen, Wall. How to get what you want. First of all, you got to ponder uh, what you want. Amen, Wall. He wanted some fire. Amen, Wall. I might as well just give you the outline here. Here's the outline as we close. You got to ponder on what you want. What did he want? He wanted some fire. Then you got to put some time in, into getting what you want. He put some time in. Uh, well, he had to build what? The, the, the altar up, amen, wall. He had to set it right, amen, wall. Because they had torn the altar down 450 prophets of Baal. So he built up the altar, amen, wall. Are you listening to me? And then he began after he pondered and after he put it together and then he prayed, amen, wall. And then he prayed, amen, wall. He prayed to who? The Lord God. Lord do what? Send some fire and the fire uh, came down, amen, wall. You want fire to come in your life, amen, wall? You want the fire of enthusiasm, amen, wall? Get down on your knees and pray to God. Somebody said, I want my apartments to grow, amen, wall. Well, if it's going to grow, you got to get on your knees and you got to pray to God. Somebody said, I want the veterans retreat out here to grow, amen, wall. I want us to move from over here. I want one row this week. Next week, I'm just, I just want one more row. And then third week, I want another row. And the fourth week, I want another row, amen, wall. Because down, down, down the road. God got four million dollars waiting on us, amen, wow. Ah, if you believe, if you believe you can achieve, amen, wow. If you believe you can receive, if you got faith, it's the grain of a mustard seed. You can say to this mountain, get on up, mountain, and be removing. So I come to a close without mudding up the water. How to get what you want? You ought to know the answer now. You got to pray. Let me hear you say, I got to pray. I got to pray like Elijah. Like now, God. now, what, what are you going to pray? You better pray the same fire. A prayer he prayed. Lord, send some fire. Put a man in my life that's on fire for you. Put a woman in my life that's on fire uh, for you. Amen. Wow. Visit my grandfather. Amen. Wow. Put some fire in him. Put the fire of faith. Don't worry about me. I'm in God's hand. Amen. Wall. Oh yeah, I like this fire message. Amen. Wall. Are you ready to make a deal with God? He says, let's make a deal. The best deal in town. When you pray, I'll send the fire. Let's make a deal. That's the best deal in the town. So Elijah took him up. And he got on his knees, amen, wall, and began praying for the fire, and the fire and came down. But I see Elijah, as we closed, he began, he believed and prayed, began praying one more time, not for fire, but he began praying for some water. See, it hadn't rained in three and a half years, 
Amen. And so Elijah did what? Elijah went on, went down. He went a little down. Went a little down. And he went on down. Amen. Wall. Went all the way to the ground. Put his face inside his knees and began praying to God. And once he began praying, he said, Sir, man, go down to the sea and tell me, what do you see? Servant came back and, on, and said, I see just a little old, uh, small black cloud. Amen. Wow. Well, Elijah said, I'm going to pray some more. And he sent him back one more time. Say, man, tell me, uh, what do you see? Amen. Wow. Well, he says, now I see a cloud about the size of a man's hand. Amen. Wow. Well, Elijah said, I'm going to pray some more, and I'm going to send you back out to the sea so you can tell me what's going on. God promised some rain, and God is faithful to his word. So go on back out there. I'm pretty sure God got some clouds formulated. Amen. Wall. Yes. God got some rain already arranged, amen, while the foul on Samaria, amen, while he went there fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time. What do you see, servant? He said, it's rain. Coming, amen. Well, it might be some rain coming our way, but that's all right. We serve a God that can produce fire. We serve a God when you need some water, He'll provide that, amen. Well, without muddying up the water, you ought to be ready to come uh, to the Lord. Come to Him and get what you want. You have not because you ask not, amen. Well. You have not because you're too stubborn to pray. We need to get out of the TV. Amen. Well, I said we need to get out of the TV and concentrate on ME. I said get out of TV and focus on ME. ME ain't me. We see the letters actually stand for master eternal. That's what we need. Get out of the TV and focus on ME, master eternal. Amen. Wall. Amen. Me and my God, we walk together. Me and my God, we talk together. That's why fire came when he prayed just one time because Elijah walked with his God. And he told those 450 uh, prophets of Baal that my God is the real God. He said, my God is real. Why is he real? Because I can feel him in my soul. Amen. Wow. I don't know what you feel this morning, but I'm feeling mighty good. Amen. Wow. Amen. I'm going to keep on marching towards Jericho. I'm going to keep on marching towards uh, Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Wow. I'm going to keep on marching towards the heavenly Jerusalem. I know I can't lose with the stuff I use. What kind of stuff I use? Here's the stuff I use. It's called the Bible. Amen. The way of the living God. Amen. Wow. And I'm asking you to come to him even right now. Won't you stand on your feet? Come to the Lord. The doors of the church is open. You need to tell God what? What you going to tell God? I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Come on. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Don't come go with me. Still I will follow. Don't come go with me. Still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Amen. When Elijah met those 450 prophets, there was no turning back. He said, I'm going to face the problem that been existing for three and a half years. Ain't have you the problem. You ain't got no right. Just bail you the problem. You 450 prophets, y'all the problem. Now I'm going to get rid of the problem today. I'm going I'm to use some fire. Yeah! Because fire does what? It purifies. Amen. God says, 
it needs some purity and purification. And then the Bible says, Matthew 5, 8, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. My maxim, the doors of the church is open. If anybody has anything that they'd like to say to the Lord before we take the Lord's up, the floor is yours. At this church, you don't sit there as a spectator. You come in here as a participant. Now, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't taught you this morning. If you want a million dollars, how you can get it? If you want a house, how you can get it? In your body, if you want to hear, I've told you this is a million dollar sermon. Amen. That's what it is. So if, if, if I was in the charge, man, I said, now this is a million dollars because this is going to get you a million dollars. But I ain't in it for the money. I'm in it for the master. Amen. Freely I have received. Freely, Freely I give. give. The greatest teaching in all of this world is prayer. The same. Prophet, he prayed that it won't be no rain and it stopped raining three and zero. The same prophet in the midst of that rain said, I want some fire. Because we got to show these boys who God is. <laughs> they serving a wood God, stone God, sun God. We got to show them who the real God is. That was the they agreed, said, man, when the fire comes down, we know who the real God is. Now, I'm telling you, Forget about Elijah for now and focus on you. You praying that same prayer, and when you pray that same prayer and believe what Elijah prayed, believe the fire will come down in your life. I don't know what particular fire, but I want some fire. In me, in the soul, in the spirit, in my bank account. Yeah. I want my I want some fiery carrot currency. That's what I want. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. I want some fiery current currency slash cash. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with asking God. You, you don't have because somebody that told you that you ought to look down upon that. All God told me to do is not to love it. I don't love money. But I ain't no crazy man. I know we need it. We need it, amen, Wow. They say, what, love make the world go round? Mike. Mike. And money do too. Mike. All right, let's Amen. roll. Amen. 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 Anybody, you got anything you want to say? No, for me. How to get what you want? Great. Faith. This woman all over the world. I want to just cry for all the world. Christ comes first. Christ comes first. Amen. He is the head of the church. Ephesians 5 523. He comes first. And, and I love what he's saying because we didn't got to the point. The reason I want to do something different. We got folk in church, they worship the pastor now. Uh -huh. It ain't no more what Jesus said. Let me check with my pastor. Uh -huh. No, I want to check first with what Jesus said. Then I dwindle on down to your pastor and your preacher. And some of you guys, they promote themselves. They give them great titles, sound and title. One day a man is a, a, a bishop. The next few months you meet him, he's the great bishop. And, 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 and then a doctor, amen, wow. But I thought Matthew 23, 8 was still in the mind. Be ye not called rabbi, for one is your master in heaven, for we are all just brothers. I just try to stick with the brothers. Minister, brothers, amen, that shows our relationship. But when I start using doctors, I got titles. Oh, I'm above you now. No, we, 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 I'm not a bug. You be on equal plane. Don't you sin? Well, I sin too. I sin in my thought, words, and deed. Amen, Wow. Amen. But here's the comfort, Matthew 1, 21. And he, Jesus, shall save his people from their sin. You know, I've been trying to save myself from sin a mighty long time. But guess what? I still ain't made. I can't fail in that clay. But guess what? What happened? When I let go, and let go. And then the devil just leaves. He leaves. Matthew 4 11. It's written, written, written. And then the devil did what? He left. He left. I saw his tail. I saw his tail wag. I saw his face down. He was shamed because he couldn't beat Jesus on a 40 day, 40 night, hungry belly situation. 
And the same for you. I want you to know you got power. There's power in this room. I want you to know everybody here, you're a gifted child of God. It comes with power. Amen. We have the power of faith. We have the power of prayer. All I want you to do is repeat the message through the week. How can you repeat it? By simply doing what Elijah did. When you're facing something false and you want truth, then go on your knees. And if you can't bend, stand on your legs. Amen. Well, Amen. you can't stand on your legs, lay in your bed. God take all phones to pray. Amen. Well, Amen. you just pray. Amen. Well, because Luke 18, 1, men ought to always pray. Amen. Not faint. Elijah had faith. He was not going to faint. Amen. Well, Amen. oh yeah. Anybody? Anybody? But Amen. Amen. And that is so true. He was on a mission. Mission what? To die. He was on a dying mission. I came down here to die because that's why I want to be part of the movement. He died for my sin. My life. My spirit. My God's Mind forgiveness spirit. He died for me. Amen. Well, that's why I don't let people try to make a God out of me. I, no, I'm just a preacher. You might, you might see me down the road and say, boy, he just got through preaching. It ha is the devil on vacation? No. no. Have, you, have you stopped sinning? No. I ain't going to stop me. <laughs> but here's the, here's the thing. I'm going to keep running to the Lord. I'm going to keep running to the Lord. When I fall off the bicycle, I'm going to get back up. Get it in your head. There's only one person, per person and you ain't that person. Now, when you read Matthew 5, 48, you better understand words. Because if W-O-R-D spells what? Words. W-O-R-D spells what? Words. W-O-R-D spells what? Words. Words. Spells what? Words. If I put an S in front of it, I got what? Words. Understand words. They cut. God's word cuts, prickles, only to bring us back home. I'm telling you, if you're not living in the house of prayer, you need to be, Jesus said, my house should be called what? House of prayer. You done made it out of damn thieves. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I, a whole lot of preachers, I ain't got nothing good to say about it. It seems like the number one mission is money. Money. Now, do we need money? Yeah, we need money. But don't tell me that I need to help you buy a 54 million check. Because that just ain't going to happen. Hen, you better get behind me. Dollar, you asked for two minutes, so you make me hot. Crap old dollar, amen, well. Y'all been a great art, one, one, ask why you're in the back. But let me ask like, who go, the stuff we gave, who we going to use? Because number one, I want you to walk away with prayer. You going to use prayer? Amen, amen. well. We got some else we're going to talk about. We love you. We thank you for coming. We got another card, and we're going to really remember what Jesus done for us. This is why we have it. It's about the blood and the body. The body and the blood. Let's get ready to remember what the Lord did for us. Come on. You have to see. Come to a part of our service where the Lord commands us to take the Lord's Supper. For I have received of the Lord that which I also deliver unto you. The Lord Jesus, the same night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped it, saying, this is the New Testament in my blood. As often as you drink this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we, we thank you for a wonderful message, how to get what you want, Heavenly yes. Father. We know with faith and prayer, we can get what we want. We have not because we ask not. On, now, man. Heavenly Father, we, we ask that you bless this Lord's Supper we're about to partake of in remembrance of your son, Jesus Christ, who hung, died, and bled that we might have an opportunity at eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.